Hey guys, it's Lexi. I have my haul today to share with you from the Zape Christmas holiday launch. I am so excited to go over all of these scents with you guys. I have not peeked at the larger box, but the smaller box here I have. So let me talk about this tiny box here first. So Heather did a um, like a name that blend contest and whoever won got some of the scent that they named and um, I I did Holiday at Gatsby's just because it sounded like a very like, I don't know, sophisticated like Christmas, like bubbly drink type scent. So I was like, oh yeah, that's something he, I could picture Gatsby like holding the drink. You know what I mean? At Christmas. So that's the name. And thank you guys. If you voted for that, I appreciate it. I did receive the, the package of winnings here. So I did get a little note here that just says, congratulations on winning. We love the name. So that was very, very sweet. And they also threw in a sample, which is just extremely generous. Um, this is, it's always slaying, which I will, I did sniff already, but I'll leave my full thoughts to the big box because I do have it in a larger size. So I did receive the scent in a shape, in a scoop, and in a clamshell, which is just extremely generous. So thank you so much. I really appreciate that. And also these shapes are so cool. It almost looks like um, a drink with like ice cubes floating in it. That's kind of like what I picture in that. I just think it's so cool. Um, but this scent is, the notes are actually on the label. It's not on that one. It is sophisticated pine, hints of tonka bean, and fresh bubbly citrus. And this definitely to my nose does smell like that. It's a that fizzy pop oil. So if you guys are familiar with fizzy pop, picture that just with like this fresh tree note but like a sweetness from like, it must be the tonka bean. It is, I would say like 80% fizzy pop with just a hint of like a sweet tree. Yeah, it's good though. I actually, and for somebody that's, I'm not like huge on fizzy pop, this, this works. This smells really good. It kind of reminds me a little bit of um, like a Moscow mule. Kind of reminds me if, if, if you've ever had like a Moscow Mule or kind of also reminds me of um, like, a, like a gin and tonic, kind of like a little bit of like a gin and tonic. That's kind of, it kind of does smell like a gin and tonic. It reminds me of a gin and tonic, which I like. I really like. It smells very good. There's not like a boozy note in this, but if you've ever had like, um, you know, gin kind of tastes like Adam, to me, to me, I was just talking to a friend about this the other day. Gin kind of tastes like Christmas to me because we were out doing trivia and my friend ordered a gin and tonic and I was like, oh, those taste like Christmas to me. And he was like, what? And I was like, you know, like the gin has like almost like a pine needle taste to it. And he was like, no. And I was like, I don't know. If anybody else knows what I'm talking about, let me know in a comment because that's what it tastes like to me. So anyway, very grateful um, for those giveaway winnings. And now let me jump into the actual box here. So this was an untouched box. This is how everything came packaged. I literally just ripped the tape off, have not touched anything. This is how it came packaged to me. I love the little um, red truck. Oh, I'm going to rip it and I don't want to. I love the little red truck wrapping paper. Oh man, I ripped it. Not too bad though. Okay. So let me open her up and I see this little beyond grateful sign um, or little thing. And it just says all of the information about where to find them, their website, their Instagram handle. I will leave all of that information. If you guys are interested down below, I'll also leave that 5% off code, um, which is available for anyone to use with anybody else. It's not like um, like a sponsored thing. It's just like, if you guys want to use it, feel free. You get $5 off. I also get $5 off. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's a great, great code. If you guys are curious, it's linked down below. Um, okay. So let me try to move. Oh my gosh, I'm going to make a mess. Let me pause and move some of these around. This is what it looked like underneath all of those worms. I do see three clamshells right off the bat. So let me take these clamshells out and we'll talk about those right after I talk about this other sample that I see here, which is in Pop the Bubbly. And this is a body butter sugar scrub. I did not receive this. Um, I did not order this scent. So I'm curious to know how this smells. Let me give it a, oh, that's nice. 
pretty actually. It's definitely a very fruity, kind of citrusy, fruity, I don't know, kind of like a cranberry, bubbly, citrusy type of a scent to me. I don't know if there's citrus in it, but it's, it's very pretty. I like that one. That's Pop the Bubbly, so I'm excited to use that one. Okay, so let me just quickly talk about the three clamshells that I picked up. I did get another of Holiday at Gatsby's, which I just wasn't sure um, what form it was gonna be sent to me in, and I just wanted to make sure I had a backup just in case. So that one is just a clamshell of Holiday Gatsby's. I also have Abominable Snowman, and this is a scent that I did have last year and I really enjoyed. However, when I melted it last year, the performance was so good on it that I was like, I only needed like one cube in a, in a space to fill it up and fill a lot of it up. So I was like, I won't really need that large of a size. So I only got a clamshell this year, but it's so lovely. It's fluffy cashmere, fir tree forest, applewood, and icy winter air. And it's just, it's a really, really, really good scent. Um, definitely very strong on that cashmere, that sweet cashmere. But like I said, so strong, I will only need half of one of those cubes. It's so good. Um, this one is Snow Angels. This was the scent that I had last year in body care, but was available this year in wax. So I wanted to try it in wax, but I wasn't sure how much I'd love it. So it is um, sweet mint, powdered sugar, and fresh cherry with coconut. It smells just like the body care did, of course, last year. I might, I might enjoy this actually um, a lot more in wax than I did in body care. So who knows? I might be kicking myself that I didn't get it in a larger size, but I didn't want to go totally over the top and then be overwhelmed with having to get through some stuff next year. So the first one I have of a shape repurchase, this is Christmas Eve. It is crackling fire, fur and balsam with toasted marshmallows. Um, if you guys are curious of more of my thoughts on these, I did do a video talking about this list before it launched and I did, I talked about this scent a lot. This is just like a beautiful tree scent blended with, um, like a smoky crackling fire and like a sweetness from the marshmallow. It's really, really nice. This one here is white Christmas. This is fir trees, balsam and dreaming of a dot, dot, dot. This is like the most classic just Christmas tree scent offered from Zape, I believe, and it is amazing and phenomenal because Zape has like a slightly sweet tree scent, um, not super needly or anything, but very lovely. And then this one is Christmas tree cakes, and this one is fluffy white cake, buttercream filling, and a hint of Christmas spice. This one's so good. Honestly, I probably could have gotten this in a scoop and maybe I would have been happier, like knowing that I have a little bit on backup, but this, this is just such a really delicious, fluffy vanilla, cake bakery scent. It's so good. It definitely reminds me of the Little Debbie Christmas tree cakes and is a very good performer. And then this one is Christmas in a cup. This is eggnog, sugar cookies, espresso, and sweet cream. This is one of my favorite um, coffee scents that I've smelled from Zape. This is just so freaking yummy. Um, it's like sweet because of the eggnog. You get the richness of the espresso. It's just it, like a really, really nice blend. So love that one. Thrilled to have backups of that. And then another one that I'm thrilled to have a backup, or not backups, I guess, of, um, but thrilled to have seen come back. This is Hansel and Gretel's house. It's gingerbread, graham crackers, and vanilla frosting. I'm so excited to smell this one again. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Oh, this is honestly such a delicious scent. I am thrilled to have some more of this. It's amazing. Um, and then I do have two scents in scoopables that I was just like, you know what? I want to have these on hand in larger sizes. So if I don't finish them this year, I know that they'll still store well for next year. In my opinion, I think that Zapes Scoops store have the best shelf life. They store the best. And then I guess, and then it would be like the clamshells and shape bags, um, but I've noticed from like longevity and like storage that the scoops tend to do the best. So that's why I got these shapes that are my favorite scents in the larger size. So enough talking, Alexis, I have. Um, so I have Tinsel Town and this one, you guys know, it doesn't say the notes on here, but it's um, a hot cup of caramel apple cider and fir tree lined streets, 
fir tree line streets. It's delicious. I do have a backup shape of this that I need to use this year, but such a great scent. I'm not even gonna open it because I know it's good. I know it'll last. Um, and then this one is Yuletide Carols. This one um, is like a very sweet, creamy, like body care vanilla with a tree scent. It's so yummy, so delicious. I'm thrilled to have a backup of that as well. And then out of all of them, I only have three new to me scents this year, which is crazy. So I have always slain. This was one that I got a sample of in there and I did sniff it and I really enjoyed it. It's sweet orange and berries, spiced cloves, warm tobacco with caramel, vanilla and bergamot. And it's in this like adorable little reindeer, blue and green reindeer shape. Super cute. And this one is really yummy. It's honestly very strong on the orange and berry scent. It's not overly spicy. The spice is very subtle on cold in this. The spice could get stronger once you warm it. But it's mostly like that fruity scent. I guess I get maybe a little bit of, maybe a little bit of the freshness from the bergamot, but bergamot also is like, kind of goes with orange, kind of pairs together well. It's very pretty. It, this is a scent that is like a non-Christmas specific hot up, a non-Christmas specific winter scent because it kind of smells, it also doesn't really smell super wintry, I guess. There's not anything that's like mint or snow or whatever about it, but it's like if you want something that doesn't smell like overwhelming like trees or bakery, then that's that would be perfect probably. And then this one is The Night Before Christmas. This has been around before. I've never personally picked it up just because I've always been afraid of the flannel sheets oil, but I smelled it in her fall releases for um, fall naps. And there's another one that had flannel sheets in it. And it was a very sweet oil. And I was like, wait, that's actually delicious. So um, I wanted to give this one a go. This is flannel sheets, fresh snow, and pine trees. Ooh, that's so pretty. I mean, it definitely smells like laundry to me, more so than the other fall, like flannel sheets one did. Maybe it's that fresh snow that's making it more laundry forward. It is like, it smells like um, a freshly made bed with like, it, but you, if you had like a Christmas tree in your bedroom with a freshly made bed, it's very nice. I really like that. Um, a lot prettier than I thought it would be. And I also like the little Jack Skellington on it. That's cute, cute touch. Um, and then I also have Black Tie Affair and this is like this really cool um, black and white rose shape. And also, I don't know if I mentioned how cute this Hansel and Gretel, Hansel and Gretel's house shape is. I don't know. I love the shapes. I'm a sucker for the shapes, you guys. I just think all the shapes are so cute, right? And the little Christmas trees and the little Christmas tree cake one literally looks like the, like little Debbie Christmas tree cakes. I just am such a sucker for that, you guys. I really am. Anyway, this one is Little Roses, and Black Tie Fair notes are amaretto, spiked eggnog, coattails, and bow ties. I don't think, I don't think coattails and bow ties are anything. I think it's just like an added, like, here's something cute to like make it make sense for the name, I think. Because um, who, who knows what that would smell like? I think it's just amaretto, spiked eggnog. I could be wrong. Let's see. Um, but amaretto, that's like a liqueur, right? So the cherry scented liqueur. I don't know, you guys. This ha is coattails and bow ties something else, right? There is something in this that I did not expect. There is something kind of sweet in this. Not like, not like, what the heck? Okay, I have no idea. This definitely does not smell like straight up amar amaretto spiked eggnog. There is something kind of perfumey about this. I don't even really smell too much eggnog in this. I guess I get a little bit of the amaretto. I, d I definitely can kind of pick up on like a cherry amaretto scent. But then it almost smells like um, 
kind of laundry-esque to me. That is weird, you guys. Not, it's not a bad scent. I just thought it would be super, super rich, creamy, like cherry-leaning, amaretto-y eggnog. That was it, you know? And it's not. If anybody knows what else is in this, I mean, there must be something else in this that's making it smell like that. But I have no idea. I did not expect that. That was a huge surprise. Very interesting. Okay, and then just to wrap up this video, I have two cents in Yuletide Carols. I'm not going to crack these open yet, um, but these smell just like the wax in Yuletide Carols, which is um, like a tree scent with a, like a vanilla bean that's like a very body care vanilla scent. Very pretty. I picked it up in a body meringue, so like a body lotion, and I picked it up in a sugar whip, which is like the blend of their most abrasive and like body butter type things like blended together. So it's like a scrub, but it's like really good to like scrub your legs and then you can shave immediately after with it. Like you don't even need to like get soap. It's just like you uh, scrub all the dead skin off and then you keep scrubbing and then it turns into like this smooth, like fluffy, little bubbly lather. And then I just shave right after. It's the best. I love it. I love it so much, you guys. Um, such a fan of Zape's body care and wax and everything is just so good. So um this was a great haul you guys i might have to go back in and pick up some larger sizes of a few of these things now that i'm like seeing it i'm like i should have got more of that um but you guys know how i love my zape so i appreciate you guys taking the time to watch i hope you're all doing well hope you're having an amazing month of november so far and um, I asked in my last video, but I'm, I'm curious. So if you guys didn't see that one and you're watching this one, let me know. Are you guys on to melting your holiday like Christmas scents now? Or are you guys still in fall mode? Drop a comment below. Do like a pumpkin, like a jack-o'-lantern if you are in fall mode. And do like a Christmas tree or like a Santa if you're in Christmas mode. I'm just, I'm very curious. So I hope you're all doing well and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye guys.